<laughs> Hi, beautiful people. How you doing? So it is now the 27th of February and February is just like a great deal of alignment just going on. It's the 27th of the second month of 2020. So 27 in angelic numbers represents positive news and represents um, positive news, especially about inner self issues. So be on the lookout for things that you were once um, not over. This is a time of healing, but I have a question that I've been meaning to answer for a little while. I'm here. My social media manager's in the background there. Look at her, just oh, doing special. nothing. <laughs> We've been meaning to do these videos for a couple of days, but it's just been back and forth and there's been a lot of ups and downs and just bullshit getting in the way. So the first thing to start this early five in the morning video, everybody's got shots, right? Da -na -na. Please come back in uh, five minutes. Five minutes, should I pause? <laughs> okay, we'll I go. live again. Okay. You got your shot? Yeah. You got your shot? You got your shot? Everyone's got your shot? Everyone ready? Cheers. And Chris. To everyone. Okay, Who's ready? Uh, Cheers to you guys. That's okay. Hey, what? <laughs> okay. Someone needs to get him a shot. Ready? Ooh. Okay. Shot for Fabi. Oh shit. Ooh. Dear Lord, I pray for everything to be wonderful in the world. Hey. Thank you for this glass. Yes. <laughs> to all of us. Should have given you the bigger one. <laughs> okay. So I got my question here. So back in the day, I used to do a say um, an, a segment called Ask a Sage. Um, on a radio, Climax Radio, um, for Afro Nation show. So I've been doing it underground with my email and through my BD The Sage Instagram. Send me your questions. So I've got one cheeky question to share right now and I love that I'm in the presence of people so they can all join in. But um, it, it was very personal to me because I, I learned this lesson when I was 14. So I just thought, you know, let me share this with you guys. Here we go. Let me move some things out of the way and give you some clear sight because we need to explain some shit. Okay. Here, here's how it goes. It goes, Dear Mistress Sage, my name is Vicky. All names are changed, by the way. Everyone remains completely anonymous. I get you. This is private shit. We've got, we got to do this shit right. I'm 32 years old. I'm a dietitian and I've been with my boyfriend for eight months now. We've been talking about living together and he makes me laugh. He's hardworking. He's healthy. I wouldn't say he's exactly my usual type, but he's so charming, makes me laugh, and has a great personality. Sounds like a good one here. Has a good job, okay. Is good to his mum and his brother. This sounds like a winner, to be honest. Um, oh, shit. But there's one thing that bothers me, though. His penis is 6.6 .6 inches, and I normally prefer 7 to 8 or up. <laughs> <What are we? laughs> this sounds selfish. <laughs> This guy's got all these attributes and you're talking about this selfishness and so we got to address this. I love him. No, you don't. But I feel like I can't be with him. That, no, you don't love him. I've asked God to send me a sign. Oh, Lord Jesus. Don't try this at home. Because I don't know what to do. Help me, please. Don't try this at home. Okay. I came prepared, right? This is... Okay, when I was 14, this is how I was thinking in it. I was like, it's all about size, size matters, all of that, all of that, all of that. That's really what I was thinking. I was like, size matters, end all and be all is dick size. And then my my friend said to me, hi, white chocolate, shout out to you. He said to me, we were in drama together. We were in a lesson and he was like, you're being selfish, you know. He pulled out one of these. Oh my gosh, where is it? I feel like one of those old women on the train, you know, that has everything in one little bag. <laughs> okay. He pulled out one of these, right? He pulled out one of these. You remember them six-inch rulers? Remember technology as a 90s kid from when we went from the 12-inch ruler to the six-inch? <laughs> okay. 
He pulled out one of these, yeah? Can you see it? I hope you can see it. He said, you women are selfish, you know, because six inches is quite a lot. This is not small, you know. He was like, this is not small, you know. And I actually deeped it in that moment, my little 14-year-old self. This one has the numbers, this one doesn't. Okay, this is my kind of motions. I can't find the lid. For aesthetics, it needs the lid. Okay, this is six inches, yeah? So this whole can from there is six inches. This is about four inches extra. That's 10 inches. She's saying she wants seven. 6.6. .6. When you have 6.6, .6, you round it up to seven anyway. So. Don't so, try this at home. Don't try this at home. I like that. I need to edit that into my, my, my future videos. But no, on a real note, you said that he's a good man. He's good to his mom and good to his brother. Bro, bro, why the fuck are you messing around with a good thing? Men don't come perfect. And in terms of dick size, if you're being satisfied, I don't see the reason why your mind is getting in the way. I feel like I need to do a reading for you. I'm going to do a separate reading video because there's a lot of issues that I'm feeling. I can channel it already, but I feel like you need to let go of this, of this view. Because I think it's the pride factor that's making you want to just hold on to that I need seven inches. Who are you bragging to about that seven inches? Because that dick size thing is between you and your man. And as long as he's providing for you and he's been good to you, I don't see the problem. I had, I had a whole myriad of things to, to compare to, but you know what? Like yeah. Says I'm not. <laughs> I feel, yeah, honestly, 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 the universe works in wonderful ways, but... I honestly feel like this is one of those things that becomes a problem because a lot of women, it sounds like an, it's, a, it's an irrelevant point, but a lot of women go through surgery and change themselves in order to harness the attention of men. But when it comes to dick sizes for men, how many men do you see going to go under the knife to get that shit changed? Mm. You don't? Mm. You don't? Oh, no, okay, there's two men in here. Would you guys go under the knife to change your shit if it was too small? Mm-mm. Just, both of them said no <laughs> both of them said no so that I feel like it's wrong that's that's one thing that men can do they can actually take the L and be like you know what shit I'm gonna work on my personality I'm gonna do <laughs> why I'm gonna be no? funny I'm gonna be that funny guy I'm gonna be the clown I'm gonna work on the skills that I do have I'm gonna show off what I do have two men in here just said that they wouldn't go under the knife if their penis was too short so I don't understand why women would be changing themselves in order to to harness that kind of attention bling 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 <laughs> you just won the jackpot <laughs> the cancel is correct there we go so I feel like you have a good man in your life. You told me that he can provide for you. Listen, yeah. I, I feel like doing that whole card, card shit is outdated. So let me let me go wireless. I got my question here. You said you're a dietitian. You're settled. You're at a good age. I'm telling you, I learned this lesson when I was 14. Okay? So listen to me. You've been with him for eight months. Okay? That means you're building up to something serious. You're talking about living together. He makes you happy, he's hardworking, he's healthy, he's not your type. Sometimes your type is the best type because he can surprise you, he'll switch it up. You don't need your type. What you think you want isn't always what you want. Sometimes you get what you need. Um, he's got a good job, he's good to his mom and his brother. That's special to me because if somebody is good with their family, that tells you the kind of care and attention that they'll give to you, the kind of affection that you deserve. This whole um, penis... It needs to be this size or whatever my god it is seven inches like for everything else that he's doing for you it is seven inches because i'm not seeing any complaint apart from that so i think you're being a bit selfish and you need to bring <laughs> come back to reality you need to come back to reality eat a slice of humble pie because that there, there is no such thing as the perfect man stop putting men on a pedestal and understand that the same way that you have flaws he has flaws do you ever wonder the things that he has ignored about you in order to be with you whilst you're focusing on this one thing because you i'm serious she has no other complaint she has no other complaint she didn't say he's not pleasing me 
She didn't say that he's not making him. She's not making me come. Mm. She said she's holding on to an ideology that she's been fixated on for a long time, mm. probably from some stupid reason from society or whatever. I told you I was on that same shit, and I've been labelled flaky because of it. Because any time that I see an opportunity for growth, I can let go of what was my old opinion and mm. take on a new opinion. And people are like, "Oh, you're flying." I'm like, "No, I just learn better." <laughs> <laughs> I had. I had good life lessons, so no, my God, you've got a good man here. You're 32, and I'm telling you right now, you didn't say he's got kids and shit. You didn't say anything else, and that's rude. That's disrespectful. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is something that's not said by a lot of women, but men hold on to their ego and their pride, and they value it the most. And the one thing that you need to do is take care of that, and he'll be yours forever. But a lot of women downplay it like it's a weakness when, in actual fact, it's a strength. Because if a man didn't have that and the ability to separate emotion from everything else, he wouldn't be able to move the way that he does. Men are logical beings. That was eleven, eleven. That was shit. The way that men move is that they are logical, and they take things steps in steps, one step at a time. They focus on one thing at a time. And when you're not when you're not seeing the results that you're seeing, it's mm-hmm. because you're putting too much pressure. You're nagging. Don't be a nagger. You don't need to be a nagger. Just yeah. take a step back and I'm relax. Like uh-huh. Let them chill. That ego shit. No, it's. Im- I'm telling you, it's important. That's the missing link between our generation and our mother's generation. That's the access of knowledge that they had. There's certain compromises and things that you have to do in a relationship, even though it doesn't make you comfortable. A lot of people in our generation want a person that's a ready-made package. And they're like, oh, what what does building a man mean? I'm like, listen, you, you actually do have to build a person, you know. Everyone's got walls and things within them that they hold near and dear to them and they need to let go of. And maybe you're that person that completes them and gives them the complete image so in order to do that you have to be in a gentle 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 i mean it gentle don't be pushing people to do shit they're not ready to do don't be that person that forces a person to come out before they're ready to literally pardon me i feel like those shots are catching up to me yeah they're catching i'm starting to slur i can't (laughs) No, it's yeah, cool because this needs slightly. to end. This needs to end soon. But on a road though, you've got a good man, and good men in this world are hard to come by. You have no other complaints other than this. Let go of whatever wherever you're coming from. I don't know where you're from, but I feel like it would be rude for me to assume that you're Nigerian, isn't it? But... <laughs> <laughs> That's just a bit of a stereotype. <laughs> No, <laughs> please tell me that you're finished or some shit like that. I need you to write back to me, Vicky. But on a very serious note, yeah, this um, recording needs to end. I'm smiling because I feel like I've achieved something. I've got something done. And I'm watching people play games and I feel jealous and I want to join in that. And I need to, to just <laughs> chill for a moment. So, yeah, that's the answer to your question. Please comment below and let me know what you guys think. Subscribe and stay tuned. This is the BD Experience 2020. I'm very Sage. serious this time. Tr- hey. Chase. Chase. <laughs> oh, don't gas Stop me. It. Hey. Stop it. Don't gas me. You know those two shots will gas me. <laughs> those two shots will gas me. Okay. My, my two shots. We're going to add one more. Okay. This is the book that I'm recommending at the time. It is called my sister the serial killer it is by oyinkan braithwaite and the thing that i like about it is that it's an african writer nigerian writer it's set in in nigeria in lagos but it's one of those things that's very different it's not about um culture or marriage or anything it's something completely new what would you do if your sister was a serial killer and your (laughs) older sister and you're covering it up for her but yes my 15 minutes is about to run out So I'm out, beautiful people, make a wish. And you've got seven more wishes to make. I did count. So thank you. I'm out. Do, sis, do. Thank you, beautiful people in the room. I love you all. Bye.